showing off how she didn't work is um, she's just trying to guide you to see the right door um, it can be a long process of cleaning up. And you go know, you know, forward, backward, sideways, so you have to the back of the head. So, where do you include the hand clean? Because when you're putting it anywhere inside the mouth, it can stick out. So, it makes it difficult to work with. Um, in general, say, I've got a small answer where the margin of error is smaller. It's left with this hand. It's a little bit of a big head. You kind of got pictures of everything. Yeah, I'm sorry. So this is a normal display building, which will have open after the extraction. You guys can have check everything out. That's like just on display. But if you guys want to see the extraction, just pull this window right here. Um, kind of gather around. I know it's not the biggest viewing area, but I'm trying to get everyone to be able to see. Um, right now we're doing a delay of the Um But once it's in there, yeah. you can hold on to the back wall for strings to save the hands from the back they want to head it out, you can use a pin stick to pin the head, and you'll see very quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Now, if the head is pinned, you can use his hand to step in. She's going back. She's, mm -hmm. she's seeing all the people moving. She's going to try to move. Oh, God. Man. So, um, these are actually the female. So, uh, if you do male or a little smaller female, it's going to be a bit bigger. So the person who's trying here is Jim. I hope so. I can't use, I don't have enough fingers to actually hit the focus button on any of them, so. I said maybe, but not really. It makes cobras and things a little easier. Cobra tangs, the hollow tools just stuck in there. The libraries, and these ones are bigger. Generally, in snake world, Females are bigger, it's not a 100% always sort of thing. Um, usually, just being bigger means you can produce more eggs, which means you're more fertile, which is quite a good thing. Um, but if there's a male competition, like a male fighting, sometimes you'll see the male from bigger. It just depends. It's hitting its um, nose on that dent. But mm -hmm. this species, it's like, just not the same. You're going to see a couple bigger individuals. Sometimes you're discombobulating them will make them go. But... Kristen, do you hear around Yes. Okay. Whenever you want to switch people is fine. There's still... Okay. There are still animals. But the, the following groups of animals are smaller. There's not as many as there are Malayans. There's two more Malayans. Gotcha. Okay. So... I might just go to... I mean, if you want to let the other group watch, they could watch some of these, and then these folks could come back in at the end to see some of the crates or something if they want to. Mm -hmm. um, so what she said is... If you guys want to have a you guys are welcome to do it. Um, but after the two rounds, we're going to doing it that way when I can.
Not about the size of those males out there in the quarantine, right? Mm, I think they're a little bit smaller, but they're close to the size. It's like messing up on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's really trying to go backwards. He's trying to go back in with his head the other way. So, um, you don't get a lot of them from the tip. If you want to put it on the funnel, that you might only get a few drops at a time. Um, it takes a long time to get a really significant amount of them out of it. Um, contrary to this is about reaching gold. Uh, it's not worth a lot. We are a nonprofit. We're doing this for medical research reasons, not for making money. Um, even though we are that, that's it. selling it, it's not really worth it. They will naturally have a bike thing to get the bike out of the rim of the funnel. And you'll put those things on the funnel. Um, and then massage the snake's head. That's not forcing venom out of the snake, but it does help kind of get the release of venom. Um, it's kind of like being poked in the stomach, but if you jump backward, you have that reflex thing. Massaging those venom glands uh, reflexively makes them release venom. Um, that being said, a snake can 100% control how much venom they give. If they don't want to give venom, they send it to um, that's true in the wild too. If you get by a snake, dry bites it. You can see its head? I can see its nose. Okay. Um, so we do put our snake long breaks in between instructions at least two weeks. Um, for a more sensitive species, you can put them up to a month. Uh, we also extract them on a new basis. If someone needs a snake for whatever reason, that's a certain known for kind of reason, we'll extract more. Um, Question. Do you get an individual snake might act differently? You might know one is piece of the work, but one of the one is here. You had a party of four coming down, party of four. Can you grab that? Yeah. Bring them over here. It'd be great. Power on. Three. Okay. So, the end of that tube is duct tape, you might say, that it's kind of circled around. That's going to make the tube a little darker. Um, we think it might help the snake be like, oh, it's a funnel, I can go into this and kind of try and get some security that way. Um, it's just have a way to oh way to the snake to go in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that part you can tell about. Yeah. Not quite yet. There you go. It's one of the snake's far enough to think it's not necessarily easy, but since the snake really has nowhere else to go, it usually would be. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more KRZ videos and don't forget to hit the bell so you know when it's happening. Follow us on social media at KY Reptile Zoo for more scaly content. Lastly, come visit us in Slade, Kentucky and check out our website at kyreptilezoo.com for merch and booking programs.